All right, looks like we are on. Morning, guys. I am excited about uh, this trip. Uh, we're gonna take three days flying uh, all around uh, south of Oregon, north of uh, Nevada uh, area. Um, we're gonna go today to a place called Mahogany and I stay overnight and then next uh, couple of days just flying around there going to the Alvor Desert and uh, and have some good flying time. Kid Fox is ready to go. The whole packing thing on the Kid Fox. We have plenty of space for basically everything. See if I can show you guys what I have. So we have a cooler there and we have a sleeping bag on the very back. We have a lounger, chairs, clothing, uh, tent, and uh, underneath there we have a bunch of stuff. What's up? Thanks. And we have uh, all the camping supplies here, a pillow, and we have a little bit of food in here on this, uh, on this bag. And here we have a two and a half gallon water. And that's basically it for all of the supplies that I need. Uh, I have a, a solar panel here to charge all my batteries uh, for the cameras and the iPads and uh, all the electronics. And yeah, I'm ready to go. So I think today we're gonna go to Somewhere north, we don't know the destination for, uh, yet for fuel. Uh, we, we do want to have a little bit of fuel there uh, when we get to Mahogany. So we're going to stop somewhere, fill it up so we have plenty of fuel for flying around. Uh, it could be uh, somewhere north of Reading. We don't know yet. We'll find out. All right, let's go flying. I'm just gonna follow Gary, he's a Highlander ahead of me and we're doing flight of two. Had an altitude here is about 5,000 feet. Alright, got the airport in sight. And runway 29 is uh, right traffic. Field and join on a downway. It doesn't look like there's anybody there. Clear lake traffic, Yellow Highlander, flight of two, gonna overfly midfield at 4800, and to right downway 29, Clear Lake. I'm gonna check the fuel pump, see what the fuel pump is. Clear lake traffic, flight of uh, Highlander, flight of two, right downway 29, Clear Lake. I see it. Pump is on the very end. Traffic. And it's basically a crosswind. Toilet like traffic, Highlander flight at two, right base, two nine, toilet. Like. Clear of uh, 
All right, let's get some fuel and uh, get it going. All right, so uh, someone is coming in. It's just starting to rain a little bit, but it's not bad. I mean, it's just build, some build ups here and there. It's not too bad. So we're gonna get some fuel now. And this is uh, Lake something, Oscar 81. Nice build up over there, right ahead of us but uh, the winds are blowing that way, so it should not be a problem. How much you're charging the gallons? Ten? Ten dollars a gallon? Is that what you're charging? Made it down to Mahogany. Of course, I forget to uh, turn the cameras on when landing it. So, that's that. But this place is beautiful. Grass runway. Check this out there. All the way there. 2100, 2200 feet. It's nice. Not too bad. Bunch of people already here. Cub, Cessnas, and um, yeah, should be a uh, should be fun. So this place has a restaurant, I believe, and they have a thing called the cowboy dinner. Nice steak. So we're gonna have a nice nice steak tonight, and tomorrow we're gonna go to uh, Fields Station which is uh, about uh, 40 minutes from here and um, spend the day and we're gonna camp over the desert and then, then some, do some more flying but this place is just beautiful check it out the thunderstorms were dodging a little bit of the thunderstorms it wasn't too bad it was uh, scattered all over the place and the elevation here I think is 4,000 feet so the airplane definitely feels different. It does feel a lot more sluggish than normal. So you gotta be careful with that. So uh, I'm gonna set up the tent. Probably gonna set up right here uh, next to the Kid Fox and then have dinner. Look how funny, there's someone about to take off, I'm here to film it and basically <laughs> everyone comes out and wants to see it. We're all propeller heads, we're all of airplanes and we can help ourselves but watch it. That thing has some power. Wow, that's crazy. So how was the day today? Score uh, from 1 to 10. Um, oh, what do you think? 4 because it's cross country. I think some pretty epic at the end. Yeah, that was pretty good at the end. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to give it a 5 because it's pretty 
five. Okay. Pretty boring day. Landing. But wait, we haven't finished yet because we still have a steak dinner to finish. We do. Yet. Oh yeah. Alright, let's go have dinner then. Final thoughts. Ooh, steak. That was a pretty amazing steak. Uh, it, uh, is my hair in a mo look? My hair's in a mohawk. Oh yeah, it looks like you have a mohawk. Man, let's move this way here. Oh okay. no, let's move that way. There we go. We got a bit of mohawk. But so that was a good steak. How much did you eat? Christian, I ate like two thirds of that steak. Oh, yeah, did. that was pretty severe. <sighs> Taking that steak for about a whole month uh, worth of I, steak. I think I could go two days without eating that. Yeah, me too. Um, and and uh, not. Not be missing it. Yeah. All right, guys. So end of day one, pretty good day, and uh, stay tuned for day two. I will catch you guys on the next one. See you. Uh -huh.